So, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is my new series. Um, so I have been doing a little bit of grinding also while we were in Japan. Um, me and my friends, we started doing this one. This is Hosho. Um, so yeah, we have uh, many different carriers, or two carriers. Um, I'm getting into the cruisers as far as those go, the American destroyers. I know the Japanese destroyers are supposed to be more stealthy apparently. At least that's what my friends have told me. Um, but this is our new series. Um, I will be starting eventually my own fleet. Um, in this one, it's called a fleet, yes. Um, eventually we will uh, get going on it. However, uh, today I figured, you know, we'll just sit back and chill with a new ship. German. The Hindenburg is their tier 10. It's a brilliant little setup they have here. They have the degree. <laughs> Not many ships have been added yet. This is still pretty early for this game. Uh, Russian destroyers. Uh, Russian cruisers? Russia only had cruisers? Didn't they? No. I think uh, they're going to be adding some later. Right now we're doing the British line um, as far as cruisers go. So, this is a brand new game. We're going to go ahead and get you into it. Uh, we're gonna start out with the Hosho. Because, you know what? Uh, just got back from there. I'm gonna chill with it. We're gonna do a co-op battle. Um, it's not gonna be a random battles. Um, it's gonna be a co-op. Uh, mainly because, uh, well, frankly I'm not that good at this yet. I haven't really learned the controls. Not much to learn, Chris. No, um, mainly it's because it's AI mostly. Uh, looks like we do have a few players on here. Um, but we will be starting our own fleet on this eventually if you guys are interested in joining. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and I'll uh, leave the name of it in the description so you guys can go ahead and uh, join it. So, what I usually do when I start with the Hosho, and there's another, like, ship, is I usually, instead of launching my ship, uh, my planes early on, you know, what I do is I get closer to the friendly ship. I get closer to the friendly, uh, Vessel. Now I know, because they are Hoshos, they do have um, torpedo bombers. Dive bomber squadron, take off. Torpedo bomber squadron, flying out. So you have to factor in the fact that the ship is actually moving. So yeah, Hosho has a pretty good armament going for her. Um, right now we're going to be singling out the St. Louis. Unless there's another juicier target, no? Not too many allies around there. We'll send Oh crap, we're detected. Torpedo bomber squadron flying out. A 
attack target. No, that missed. Okay, we're gonna go back with their uh, dive bombers. Dive bomber squadron, airborne. We're also gonna eventually need to go after those carrier carrier groups. We're hit. So we set them on fire. Torpedo bomber squadron, take off. So. Attack target. Ah, I took it. Okay, what's gonna happen is uh, we're gonna start moving forward. I know this is high risk in a carrier to move forward. Um, however, we kind of need to uh, need to uh, go deal with that uh, the other enemy hoshos. Dive bomber squadron flying out. Torpedo bomber squadron, take off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I know, I know, Hosho or like carrier battle isn't exactly the most interesting stuff, but you know, for now, we're just gonna be jumping into it um, like this. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how this goes. That wasn't the uh, torpedo bombers, was it? No, the torpedo bombers. Crap. Okay, so we're gonna need to stick with this cruiser or the North Carolina here. So the reason why I'm closing distance is yes, it is a risky one because the enemy carriers do outnumber me. However, um, we basically have this one in the bag. Bomber squadron, airborne. So. What I'm just doing right now is uh, a little bit of extra damage. Torpedo bomber squadron, take off. Nice. Okay, never mind. We don't need our torpedo uh, squadron. It's a thousand damage because we did, or a thousand damage, thousand points because we did eliminate each enemy ship. So in World of Warships and World of Warships Blitz, um, there are a few classes of uh, ships. There's the carrier, of course, which is the Hosho. We have destroyers. These are your smaller, more stealthy craft, of course. They don't spot as big of a gun, but that's not what players have to worry about on them. It's the torpedoes. Torpedoes on these guys are incredibly dangerous as because they get on the side of a battleship and they can just completely obliterate the ship, causing flooding damage, etc. Which is also why carriers are rather deadly with their torpedo groups. Battleships, on the other hand, spout incredible armor and mainly are, of course, the lords of the sea. Battleships uh, don't have the best aircraft or anti-aircraft rating, uh, but they are really big. <laughs> Incredibly big, in fact. This ship is the South Carolina, and she, uh, for a tier 3, as far as I'm aware, is a really tough ship. I've encountered her with a different battleship, my uh, Kawachi, I want to say that's what it's called, and the Carolina is just a really tough ship to sink. Then you have your cruisers. Now cruisers are your, like mediums, they're medium tanks, example. They're a little bit of everything. They could be leaning more towards battleships, or they could be leaning more towards destroyers. This one, for example, has uh, torpedoes. Now, um, torpedoes in the game, we're gonna go ahead and give you an example of this using the co-op just to show you the game. Uh, of course, later on we'll be doing random battles, um, but, you know, for now, uh, we're gonna be showing you this. So, ooh, almost. Leo, he's in an Azuma. So we have a few destroyers, a cruiser, which is the Chester, two battleships. We're also going to be a cruiser. They have two battleships, I want to say. 
Um, which is going to be something else. Battle starts. So the thing about this cruiser is it does have torpedoes. Now, torpedoes are limited by their arcing. So if you have, example, a ship to this side, let's say the Leo there is an enemy ship. If I were to aim at that Leo, the torpedoes would fly past here. You need to lead these things. Um, took me a while to figure that out because uh, I didn't really understand that. I thought it would be more like World of Tanks where it's a point and shoot kind of thing. You of course do have uh, enemy vessels incoming. He turned. Target hit. So he just suicided because he didn't torque bomb anyone. Enemy torpedo spotted. They took out our engines right there, I think. Right now we're getting beat up, so I'm gonna deploy. Um. Oh, so this is a, a cruiser in the Japanese. Okay. Because we are a low health vessel, they're going to focus us down. I'm hoping those torpedoes hit. Just one, but you see you see how deadly torpedoes can be. As an example. Now, you know, that was one of the more aggressive pushes I've seen. Uh let's go ahead and Actually no, we showed you that. Let's go ahead and show you the um, battleship. So this is the South Carolina. Uh, she's incredible and of course we'll do be doing individual ship reviews later on. Um, but you know just to kind of introduce you to the game we're going to be going over this. That's a bigger version <laughs> of a Japanese battleship. Now um, if I remember correctly when I used to play World of Warships back in the day, it was the Nagato. Nagato, um, which was an incredible ship back in the day. It was an OP ship, as you would call it. And I'm hoping that's not the same here. Um, it was on when I really just started. It wasn't even videos, it was more just getting into the, the kind of gaming stuff. Um, my friends introduced me to wargaming, kind of, and then so, oh yeah, so anyway, back to the ships. So battleships, excuse you, um, that's a friendly, by the way, that's shooting at me, so I don't take damage in this. Um, but in World of Warships, the full, like, PC version, you do take damage on that. So, unlike that, um... The PC version, this one does have guns which you have to man. Let's 
go ahead and see if we can't land these shots. Right in front of them. The cruisers are really fast little ships. I don't know what happened Enemy to my gun blocked. there. Probably shouldn't be shooting AP at them. They're almost within secondary range. Now secondaries on the Carolina aren't, you know, as good as the bigger good ships shot. that we're shooting at here. But, you know, we're doing what we can. Nice. So the so uh, the torpedo almost said is what got him. That was a bad shot. Nice shot. Now there's the citadel, which I don't know how to hit on these things. Just to prove I'm not a complete scrub, do some damage there. Um, so citadels on battleships are a real big thing. Like people, other people, not me, obviously know how to hit them. Um, but they do take incredible damage off of you and it's just crazy. Um, battleships, whenever they, they shoot at you, you know you're being shot at by a battleship. Doesn't matter if it's AP or HE, you know when you're getting shot at by a battleship. I need to plug this guy back in. So yeah, this has been our introduction video, um, kind of. So, next we have a uh, destroyer. Of course, this is a tier 3, the Wickets. Uh, this is a US vessel. A beautiful little ship. Um, and these ships are more stealthy, so you play really aggressive to the front. You're in the front, but you're not trying to be spotted. Um, destroyers usually when they get spotted they bug out or if you're in an American destroyer if it, this game is going to be anything similar you're going to be able to kind of gun it out a little bit don't try and gun it out with bigger v vessels than you always try and take on like battleships with a torpedo don't try and open battle them you know use cover um, and the cover mechanic in this game is different so you can't just hit stop there's like a whole thing like if I slam it in reverse I'm still going um, as you can see so the cover mechanic is different you know and the way the steering is gonna change okay let's go ahead and dump one that way oh crap that's a Clemson He's our little guy. So we caused flooding on him. So we're gonna try and get away from this situation. See, people don't really like destroyers because we tend to be able to put you down the bigger vessels which they need in the long run. So he set us on fire. So we're gonna deal with that. This should cancel out before they hit the friendly. No? Okay, look, luckily the friendly moved out the way. We're not detected, but we're gonna give it a few seconds before we push back up. Um, so mainly in this ship, okay, we're detected again by some thing within detection range. Okay. 
we got five seconds on that reload. No, I'm hoping the St. Louis knows better than to keep driving straight. Here's hoping for nothing. Those are all gonna hit the St. Louis. Our team is about to win. So since it's this late. Just gonna farm some gun damage. And that's that. So that's the destroyer. Destroyers are the agile little ships. Uh, don't ever get spotted on a destroyer. <laughs> There's some destroyers which can go toe to toe with like a cruiser. But even then, you know, you're really limited to your maneuverability and torpedoes. So keep yourself in the game and just pester them with tor torpedoes. So that's been the video. Um, Ooh, cool, we kept it kind of inside the range I was looking for. 25 would have been a bit better. Uh, but anyway, that's been the game. Um, so we are going to set up a fleet inside this game. If you'd like to join, go ahead. Um, of course, you can always say hi. Uh, don't be afraid to send a message, say hi. You know, saw your video. Uh, anyway, this has been me. Peace out.